Hello wrestling fans, The Wrestling Wizard here and welcome to another video. Now I know what you're probably thinking, there's no chance in hell that Bray Wyatt is going to re-sign with WWE. Why would he realign himself with the devil himself in Vince McMahon? And you're probably right to be fair, the likelihood is Wyndham Rotunda, of course his real name, is counting down the days, probably on his calendar, he's probably like crossing them off, the days till his 90 day non-compete contract comes to an end and he can re-sign, should I say, sign with another company. That's the likelihood. Let's face it, if you used to hedge your bets, you bet on him either signing with AEW or Impact Wrestling. However, there's always going to be speculation until he actually puts pen to paper and signs with another company. You can't rule off WWE. It's an option. We know it's probably, well, it could be up to about 5% now chance that he could re-sign with WWE. You can't write it off, purely and simply. Now, before I go through this video and, and go through some points and cases for him potentially re-signing with WWE, again, this is potentially okay, so this is only a theory. Um, I will say that if he were to re-sign, they need to book him properly, okay? They need to correct all the wrongs that they created in the past with that whole gimmick. Like It was ready-made to be an absolute monster of a gimmick and have longevity and, and be on the heights of, of Kane and Undertaker you know, if they booked it properly, which they didn't. And we only need to look at the Hell in a Cell, the whole Goldberg matchup, and of course, recently, the WrestleMania 37 antics when, of course, Alexa Bliss cost The Fiend the match against Randy Orton. Really bizarre booking. This whole scenario is so bizarre. If he were to return, they need to revamp The Fiend like reset him in some way, it might be more of a darker, more sinister turn or version that would work. And they need to slowly correct those wrongs. Give whatever you do, give Bray Wyatt all the creative freedom he deserves and then book him properly. Simple as that, because if you don't, you're back to square one and people are gonna be moaning about the same thing, understandably, from before. If you were to guess right now where he's gonna go, it sort of leans towards AEW and Impact but he could return. And I'm gonna go through some reasons and some valid points as to why he might return. Now, first and foremost, Vince McMahon, unless he's been living under a rock, will be aware that Bray Wyatt's non-compete contract runs out on the 29th of October, as far as we're aware, because he was fired on the 31st of July. Now, you gotta think, with everything that's happened within AEW, all the momentum that they've gained, of course, they've signed Adam Cole, CM Punk, Brian Danielson, Ruby Soho, Miro, amongst others, and more to follow. Apparently, if rumours are true, Buddy Murphy's going to join soon and is likely to debut this week at AEW Dynamite. So, you've got to think. He's like, what is the worst thing that I can do right now? Give away my prized possession. The main event monster merchandise seller in Bray Wyatt. Why would you hand him over to a rival company? It just makes zero sense. And WWE need to re-sign Bray Wyatt. They need to make a statement. They need to put two fingers up to, you know, probably get done from YouTube for that. Um, two fingers up to rival companies and just say, look, we can negotiate, we can get things right, we can correct wrongs, book it, we book it. That, that surely has been a conversation. And Vince McMahon has is, is discussed like his concerns for Bray Wyatt's health in the past as well because obviously that's going to have some repercussions when your best friend passes away. Wyatt's well, best friend obviously being, or one of his close friends being Brody Lee. That had an impact. There was a lot of mental health implications. There was a lot that didn't make sense around that. Surely Vince has chatted it out with Bray Wyatt and they've come to some sort of conclusion. In kayfabe, he could be fired. But behind the scenes, they could just be going, Vince could have just gone, look, you need to get your mental health in a good place. Come back sharper, fresher, clear-minded. We'll re-sign a contract and we will do justice with that fiend gimmick. We hope, fingers crossed. Another reason, of course, could be, obviously, he will keep the fiend gimmick, he'll keep the name. Now there's gonna be copyright issues and likeness issues with continuing a fiend persona. He's not gonna have that issue in WWE. He can keep that gimmick, he can keep that an amazing entrance, the amazing, like effects that WWE have and work with, like 
the aura of that character works really, really well within a WWE environment because their stage presence, presence let's face it, is absolute fire. So it, it kind of suits that character. It, it's also ready made, so you're not having to change it too much. Although I'd like to see a more darker, more sinister, upgraded version with no terrible booking decisions. So that's tough to, to walk away from. Also, from a personal standpoint, Bray Wyatt knows that WWE are going to push him to the top of the mountain. He's three times WWE, well, two times, sorry, one time WWE champion, two time Universal champion. So they do push him to the main event picture. How they book him there is questionable and doesn't seem to have much longevity. But he's got the potential, again, but probably to have a monster run. I'm not saying it's going to be a Roman Reigns long run, but a better run than he had before. They're willing to put the main strap on him. Now, you're probably thinking Vince has just put the strap on him in the past to create that god-awful themed belt, and which was going for thousands, I believe, and make more merchandise, but that's another story. But there's a lot of cases for that. And as, of course, we mentioned, correcting and rewriting all the wrongs of the past. Bray Wyatt cannot be sitting home pleased and happy with the way his Fiend gimmick turned out. He's got the option then to, if I personally was booking Fiend in a return to WWE, I'd have him squash Goldberg, retire him for good, because what really grates WWE fans and fans in general is, you've released Bray Wyatt for budget cuts, but you're paying Goldberg millions to wrestle three, four times a year. Where's your priorities? Get that straight, set that straight, Book him better. Sort the whole Alexa Bliss, Randy Orton situation out. Sort the whole Roman Reigns comes in and takes your belt and you don't do anything about it. Oh, granted, of course, he pinned Strowman for the belt. But since then, Reigns has got your belt, Bray Wyatt. And you're going to want that back. And you can get that back within WWE if booked properly. And I'm going to keep saying that. Now, another reason, another case why he could return is it's not uncommon for WWE to re-sign fired wrestlers. You only need to look at Samoa Joe. Got fired, came back, won the NXT title. Got injured, but that's not another, that's neither here nor there. So it can potentially happen. And as I say, this could be a work. It could be their plan all along. I don't think it is, but it could be. And of course, there's always speculation. Another thing that seems a bit iffy as well. Now, if rumours are true, Alexa Bliss has been taken off television to have a sinus surgery, I believe it is. So she's going to be taken away and I'm sure she's going to, I did a video on this, but she's going to come up with some new gimmick. I'm sure it's going to be darker, more sinister. The whole spirit of Liddy is going to go into her in human form. Um, it's crazy to think we're talking like this now in modern day wrestling, but that is what WWE has become. It's not a pure wrestling brand. It's more of a show. It's entertainment. And that's how they want it. That's how the product is. But we've got to talk on their level at the moment because that's where we are. So you've got that whole, hang on a minute, she's off. Bray Wyatt's potentially returned soon somewhere. Could we see a realignment? I'd personally be game for that, but remains to be seen. Um, also, another point is The Undertaker. And you've got to think there's some sort of influence here because Undertaker, real name, of course, Mark Calloway, was a massive fan of the Fiend gimmick. And basically it stated that the Fiend gimmick can really go on to some seriously elevated heights if it's booked properly, which we know it wasn't. And if he has the correct relationship with Vince. Now, Mark Calloway could have gotten the phone to Bray Wyatt. <laughs> I highly doubt this, probably unlikely, and, and had a conversation and basically said, look, this is the way you need to work Vince. This is the way... You know, this is the way to, to stick true to your guns and, and don't feel like you have to fall into his booking decisions at certain points in times. I'm sure there's times where Vince had these ideas for The Undertaker and he probably just thought that's absolutely ridiculous and they changed them or improvised them and it was the correct decision. Like, you can't always just be a yes man. Yes, Vince McMahon is hard to get hold of and many people have said you'll get five minutes at best with him, like, for a number of months. But you need to play your case for, and and really put yourself forward and, and, and make sure you, you have that creative freedom to some extent. If it works in better, could be a different story. Um, also as well, ties in with Roman Reigns. I mean, look, at the moment, 
after that WWE draft, I was looking at the SmackDown male roster, right? And I was thinking, who is actually a legitimate threat for Roman Reigns at the moment? Drew McIntyre, obviously, and it's obvious that they're going to push that rivalry. But with the exception of a few, I mean, you don't want to revisit the whole Cesaro um, situation. I, I honestly think that, that would be a mistake. But other than Sheamus, you can have a face turn for Sheamus. Like, who's actually worthy? Like, Jeff Hardy, I mean, come on. Like, who is actually worthy? So, you put Bray Wyatt into the picture, the Fiend into the picture, you can then reignite a legitimate continuation of a storyline. I mean, the Fiend would be pretty pissed that he lost the title to Reigns, albeit not being pinned. He wants to get his revenge. And I even did a video on this some time back saying the Fiend is going to come back and get his revenge on Roman Reigns. Um, and of course he was fired. <laughs> so that was that. And finally, I want to wrap up on all the cryptic messages that Bray Wyatt's been coming up with. He's been very active, saying things such as replying to fans, saying, all will be revealed soon, I'll see you soon. Revenge is a confession of pain. Now, the reality of this is probably he's going to be showing his angst towards WWE in the past and being more real, uh, whatever that may be, in an outside promotion. And, and basically telling his side of the story. He responded to Seth Rollins saying that, you know, you wait till you hear my end of the story in regards to that dreadful booking in Hell in the Cell. So there's all these cryptic messages. He posted a picture of the, the Wyatt family on the night of Extreme Rules. He's been very, very active and he's put a picture up several, a couple of months, well, probably about a month back of, you know, you can't kill it with that Japanese mask image. And you've got to think, hang on, like, What's he getting at here? He's like, that looked too much like The Fiend. Like, we know he can't continue a likeness to that character outside of WWE. So is that a hint? Have they played us all along? I, I think it's highly unlikely. I really can't see him actually returning to WWE. If he, is he booking properly? I'm all up for it. Of course I'm going to be happy with that. And I'd, I'd love to see them work that character properly. But Bray Wyatt is the most cryptic man on this planet. And he's tough to read. And that's what's so good about this. Like, none of us know. We're all speculating, but none of us know what's going on. But the exciting thing is, we will not have to wait long. Because if he's putting, all will be remain, all will be clear soon, it's going to be soon. Um, thank you so much, by the way, to all you new subscribers for subscribing. We saw, like, 100 new subscribers in the last few days, which is absolutely amazing. I really appreciate your support. It'd be absolutely amazing if you could like the video share the video, subscribe if you're new, turn the bell on icon for uh, notifications, and we'll see you in another video. Take care, stay safe.